Hey everybody, this is a very crucial case to get out there. It's a missing four-year-old. And I'm going to play this news clip for you and then end this video so we can get this out there because it's very essential for everybody to see. Remember, hit the like button, comment below, and please share. Breaking news tonight out of Volusia County where police are searching for this missing little boy. FBLE says four-year-old Waylon Childs disappeared today in Ormond Beach. He was last seen on Fleming Avenue near Central Park. That's where we find Tony Atkins live for us tonight. And Tony, there is an active search that's going on right now. Tell us the latest. Well, right now I am here at Central Park here in Ormond Beach and this search has uh, been going on pretty much all day here. I want to show you the sun has just set and if you take a, a live look here, it looks that there are some uh, marine units here right now. It's unclear exactly which agency. We have been seeing a number of uh, police units, deputies, um, and officers combing through uh, Central Park here in Ormond Beach. Now, police have set up a perimeter, and outside of that perimeter, there have been a lot of folks just walking around their neighborhoods trying to do what they can to make sure that this child is found safely. Now, the child we are talking about is Waylon Childs. He's four years old, uh, white. He's three feet tall and 30 pounds with brown hair and brown eyes. He was last seen here in the 600 block of Fleming here near Central Park wearing a maroon shirt, sweatpants, and gray shoes. Now, the police, they say they appreciate the public's concern Obviously, a lot of people trying to do what they can um, walking through this neighborhood to make sure that uh, Waylon is found safe. They do say, though, you know, with so many people in this area, they tell people to um, to avoid trying to search because that could interfere with the traffic and make it congested here in the area. And also, um, you don't want to stumble upon any scene that they have to process and investigate. So they are asking the public to stay back as they continue their investigation as as you see here, the sun has set right now, and it appears that there are some sort of marine units, a dive team perhaps, trying to do what they can to find four-year-old Waylon. I'm reporting live in Ormond Beach, Tony Atkins, West 2 News. All right, we have a tip line for you right there on your screen. If you see Waylon Childs or have any information about where he might be, you can call Ormond Beach Police or call 911.